hey, the law of top tens here, de de extinction. While the definition self-evident refers to the resurrection of extinct organisms, many articles on the subject cannot discuss this um, process without sat satirically mentioning Jurassic Park, which leads me me to question, is this where the partnership of technology and biology um, may lead to us one day? Did Michael Crichton novels foretell this? Many scientists from across the globe have been trying to perfect the, moral, um, the morally um, ambiguous act of cloning and or genetically engineering for certain extinct animals. Ironically, many of Earth's long-lost species, including some on this list of the top 10 animals um, scientists want to bring back to life. So anyway, let's go off with that. Let's go start off with number 10, the Baiji River Dolphin. These dolphins took residence in the Yangtze River in China up until 2002, and are the first species of dolphin to be driven to extinction due to human impact. They were also the first megafauna, or large mammals, in recent years to become extinct. Two articles make different claims about this Cetacean species. Brian Nelson, a freelance writer from Mother Nature Network, states that the Baiji dolphin is a potential species for cloning. The recent extinction means newer DNA, which is easier to replicate. With that said, conserv conservationists being interviewed by The Guardian, Discuss an unconfirmed sighting of the white dolphin. It would appear that there is still hope that these freshwater mammals are still out there somewhere. So perhaps bioengineers should not jump the gun too quickly on the species. Number 9. saber tooth Cats One of the many giants of the Ice Age, just besides the woolly mammoth, the saber tooth tiger has been in talks of revivication. These cats were presumably killed off in the transitional period of climate change, known as a quaternary extinction. The Labra tar pits of Los Angeles holds these decaying era animal fossils that may help contribute to their eventual cloning. Why scientists would want to bring this animal back to life is the real question. But, but time will tell us whenever we're going to get this beast back to life. And guess what? It's gonna be the most dangerous animal in the world. If I was you, don't go near it. Number 8. The Woolly Rhino Also a fallen megafauna from the Quaternary Extinction, this animal went on scientists' radars when a baby woolly rhino was found frozen in the Siberian ice. In 2015, a businessman on hunting trip discovered this carcass. What was amazing was that it was almost perfectly preserved in the ice for around 12 thousand years. Cloning this animal would be especially difficult. Brian Stillard, a writer from Nature World News, reiterates what most scientists believe, which is the key to cloning any prehistoric beast, to, is finding a complete copy of its DNA and finding a suitable mother. Sadly, the closest living relatives to these beasts are the Sumatran rhinos, which are the endangered species less themselves. So, there's probably going to be no way those rhinos are going to be back alive anytime soon. Number 7. Passenger Pigeons These birds disappeared by the millions very quickly due to commercial hunting and the advancement of technology. Many technological advancements of the 1800s made the passenger pigeons' carrier abilities less of a tool for humans, so we found other uses for them. Humans had hunted these pigeons for food and sport, sold their carcasses, and probably fed for these birds any way they could. If one animal is a poster child for animal revival and conservation, it is the passenger pigeon. The last pigeon, Martha, died in the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. For the last four years, Ben Novak, a research consultant for the nonprofit organization Revive and Restore, and his team has been conducting research on their de-extinction called the Great Passenger Pigeon Comeback. They believe that bringing these pigeons back to life could create great ec ecological prosperity to North American forests, because that's where they've come found. Number 6. The Tasmanian Tiger This, na this Australian native was considered extinct in 1936. Further, like many on this list, these marsupials 
were driven to extinction due to humans. European settlers flocked into Australia in the mid-1800s, saw these tigers as pests, and soon bounty hunting would be the leading cause of their extinction. Like the passenger pigeon, the last known Tasmanian tiger died in captivity. This animal, despite its threatening name, was no threat to humans themselves. The Australian government website describes this animal with a head like a wolf, striped body like a tiger, and backward face and pouch like a wombat. The the Tasmanian tiger was was as unbelievable as a platypus, which had caused disbelief and uproar in Europe when it was first described. Australian scientists have made great progress in cloning the Tasmanian tiger, and they've actually had a pup that was preserved in alcohol since 1866. Once they bring together all the genetic pieces of the puzzle, they have plans to implant an egg into a Tasmanian devil. Yeah. Number 5. The Moa This, um, the arrival of humans to New Zealand was the cause of all nine species of Moa's extinction. The Polynesians first settled there in the 1200s, and they quickly wiped out these large, flightless birds. The Mara people, or in other words, the native people in New Zealand, hunted the Moa, who were easy targets for food. The bird's feathers and skin were used for clothing, and, and its bones were made into jewelry and fish hooks. Research has been underway for possible revivification. Further scientists currently fascination with resurrecting megafauna. Number four. This is something that you may have never heard of, but it's called the g gastric brood brooding frog. Sounds a little bit weird, though, right? So, a new member of the extinction list, this frog was last officially documented in New Zealand in, since 1983. Deforestation, in, invasive plants and animals, deadly bacteria, and loss of habitat quality through climate change has been cited as reasons why they no longer exist. This frog is a scientific wonder concerning how they were reproduced. After male frog externally fertilized the eggs, a female frog swallowed the eggs and kept them in their stomach for six weeks before regurgulating froglets. No other frog, as far as we know, goes through such a birthing process like this. Professor Mike Archer of the University of South Wales is determined to breath life into these amphibians again. He actually has gone very close, going as far as, as creating an embryo. He continues his research on this frog, and in, in an interview with National Geographic optimistically states we can ultimately fix the wild. Number three, the famous dodo. All right, um, so heroin tale behind the extinction of dodo birds, like the moa, involves the arrival of settlers. They reside on the island nation of Martius, which is like off of Madagascar, somewhere off of Africa, in the Indian Ocean. But they will be wiped out in the 17th century, mostly due to the impact of Dutch settlers. Lewis has known, however, that the ruthlessness of these settlers was not the only cause of their demise. It was what they brought with them. The pigs and rats that were unleashed on the island sent their influence in the form of diseases. They also developed an appetite for dodo bird eggs. This combination of attacks on Dodo sealed their ultimate fate. However, there have been talks, more accurately Tanax talks, of de-extinction with the Dodo, but that will not be happening anytime soon, unfortunately. Almost every trace of the do Dodo was lost until the discovery and preservation of the only complete skeleton remaining of this bird to date. Number 2. The, the Pioneerian Ibex uh, this mountain goat, became also known as the Bacardo, lived in the Spanish mountains before officially going extinct in 2000. Once again, hunting and gradual habitat destruction killed off this subspecies. However, the Bacardo has the distinct honor of being the first ever successful clone. In 2009, scientists were able to take frozen skin cells, create an embryo, and after many failed insemination attempts, a female goat finally gave birth to a calf originating from a cloned egg. Unfortunately, the calf only lived for about seven minutes due to a lung defect. Alberto Fernandez arise. Lead and advocate behind this animal's de-extinction quickly went back to the drawing board and continues work 
in developing a successful clone. Number one. Number one is the Great Woolly Mammoth. That is something we definitely want to get back alive. This fantastic beast was lost in the last ice age thousands and thousands of years ago, presumably by hunters, but but studies reveal molten temperature may have also driven them to extinction. The coexistence of a megafauna in humans has proved deadly for the former. Much like the extinct woolly rhino, the buried bodies and bones and bodies of woolly mammoths is something researchers and archaeologists it came across t many times, specifically near the mammoth's final destination, the Arctic. We see woolly mammoths as the main symbolization of the Ice Age, which has come to a contributing factor to researchers' fascination with them, says Hendrik Piner in yet another TEDx talks on the extinction. As of today, many various researchers span from North America to Siberia and Russia are working on restructuring mammoth gnomes that allow for replication. Their closest relatives, the Asian elephants, may be the key in this successful cloning. The revival of the woolly mammoth could restore ecological balance in the permafrost in grasslands of Siberia, says Ross Anderson in the Atlantic magazine. The mammoth is an ideal cloning candidate for many environmental reasons, but even scientists gush at the notation, uh, notion that mammoths are simply a cool species, and one of the most treasured of all the colossal creatures of the past. Alright guys, that is it. Hopefully, if you have any other animals that you know that are going to be bringing back to life soon, let me know in the comments below. Alright, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and see you guys next time.